lemonade. Ooh, homemade lemonade. May I have a glass, please? Sure, here you go. Thanks. Ooh, that's delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, friends. It's Missy Lee's. And Lyric. Today we are learning that God loves me. Who loves you? God loves me. And he has a plan for you and for me. Let's sing the songs God Loves Me Specially and promise out to him today. So stand up, clap your hands, and get ready to move. Yeah. 
loves you and he made you special and he has a plan for each one of us. Today we have a special visitor with us to teach us the memory verse of this month. Can everyone give a big hello to Miss Rebecca with us? Hi, Hi Miss Rebecca. Rebecca! Hi everybody! I'm so happy to be here with you today. This month's memory verse is nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Now let's all say it together. One, two, three. Nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Now let's all say it in a loud voice together. One, two, three. Nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. I just had so much fun practicing this month's memory verse with you. Now remember to keep practicing with your families at home. Back to you, Miss Elise and Lyric. Bye guys. Welcome back friends. All right, everyone join me over here. Let's give our arms a big stretch, stretch. Oh, good stretch all the way up to the sky. Wow, good stretching. Now let's sit back down so that we can hear the story. So, let me make sure I have everything I need. Yep, we got it. All right, so today's true story from the Bible is about a woman, a queen named Esther. Hmm, I thought I saw it in here. Ah, here it is. There's the crown. So we are going to put the crown on Lyra, and she's gonna pretend she's Queen Esther. So Queen Esther loved God, and she knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Let's hear from Ollie and his friends more about her story today, and we'll meet you right back here afterwards. Ooh, ooh. You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story. Just one more lemon squeeze should do it. Oh, hey friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy, and I'm making something super yummy today. Can you guess what I'm making? That's right, lemonade. I'm helping my clubhouse friends with the lemonade stand. And what do we need for a lemonade stand? Why, the world's best lemonade, of course. My Aunt Ming sent me her best plan to follow. It's her world famous lemonade recipe. I've already squeezed some lemons. So sour. And add the secret ingredient, maple syrup. Mmm, so sweet. And now all we have to do is add one more lemon and some water. Can you help me? Great, let's do it. Let's squeeze this lemon to the pitcher. Stir three times. One, two, three. And now we have to add four cups of water. Can you help me? Great. One, two, three, and four. Great job, everyone. Aunt Ming will be so proud. Now all we have to do is stir it and we'll be all set. I can't wait to try the lemonade. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Hoo, hoo. Making some lemonade, are you? Hey, Ollie, I sure am. I made my Aunt Ming's best lemonade recipe. I followed her plan and I'm doing everything it says. That's a great plan, it's true. I know about an extra special plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through.
There we go. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Just going over the blueprint plan for my latest project. Can you guess what I'm going to build? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a skateboard ramp. My neighbor asked me to build one for his son. But before I build anything, I always make a plan like this one, so I'll know what to build step by step. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. Now, a queen needs a castle, right? So, hold on one second. There we go. Esther loved God. She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Now, this is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that the king should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know, but the people Haman wanted to get rid of were her friends and family. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, that's so sad. Show me your sad face. Well, what should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. He reminded her that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, yes! Hooray! <laughs> Way to go, Esther. God had a plan for Esther. And God has a plan for you too, because God loves you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God had a plan for Esther, and he has a plan for you. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. God has a plan for us, just like he had a plan for Esther. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! It's always good to have a plan, and God's plan is the best plan. I'll see you next time. Bye! Wow, what a great reminder. God had a plan for Esther, and God has a plan for you, because God loves you. Let's pray. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. God, you are such a good God. Thank you for your plan for Esther, and thank you for the plans that you have for each one of us. We know that you love us, and we love you too. In Jesus' name, amen. Now before we go, I wanted to ask you a question. Do you know what makes today so special? Do you know what today, what today makes today? It's Mother's Day! Ah, it's Mother's Day! It's a day that we can share how much we love all the mommies in our lives. So, we wanted to teach you a song that you can sing to them today. Ready? Yes! Okay, we're gonna do it twice so that we can practice together and then you can share it with them. Okay, here we go. 
Hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses, just for you, just for you, just to tell you simply, just to tell you simply, I love you, I love you. Good job, everybody. Let's do it one more time. Okay, you ready? Yes. Here we go. Hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses, just for you, just for you, just to tell you simply, just to tell you simply, I love you, I love you. Good job practicing, everybody. Now go share it with your moms today, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.